I have spoken words of hope, but only of hope. Hope is not victory. War is upon us and all our friends, a war in which only the use of the ring could give us surety of victory. It fills me with great sorrow and great fear, for much shall be destroyed and all may be lost. I am Gandalf, Gandalf the White, but black is mightier still. Hey everyone, Yoiston here, and I hope you all are doing well, wherever you are in Middle-earth. Today I want to take a look at the specifics of Gandalf coming back to life, how he retrieved Glamdring, got his white robes, and also how his spirit traveled during this process, which made it different than other resurrections or reincarnations within the lore. Sources for today's video are in the description and cards, so please check those out. My friends, thank you all so much for joining me today. Let's begin our tale. We all know how the Grey Wizard perished. After breaking the Bridge of Khazadum, Gandalf and the Balrog, Durin's Bane, fought from the lowest depths of Moria to the highest peaks, making their way from the foundations of stone, through tunnels carved by nameless things, up the endless stair, and finally to the peak of Zirak Zigil, or Kalebdil. Upon that peak, they continued the fight until at last, after ten days of fighting from the breaking of the bridge to the end, between two Maiar, a servant of Manway against a servant of Melkor, Durin's Bane was slain, followed closely by Gandalf. While his spirit, that of Amaya, was different from other spirits in the world of Middle-earth, Gandalf's essence was either sent back to the lands of the Valar since he bound himself to Arda after its creation, or Gandalf's spirit went all the way back to the halls of Eru beyond the circles of the world, since that is where he was originally manifested before, the music of the Ainur. Now something to point out here. Gandalf's return was much more of a resurrection than a reincarnation, such as that which Glorfindel or Finrod Felagund underwent, as they were crafted new physical bodies by the Valar to inhabit. But Gandalf was actually sent back. His spirit was reattuned with his body, and his wounds must have been healed so he did not perish immediately once again. This means that Iru must have played quite a direct role in Gandalf's resurrection, both on a physical and metaphysical level. For not only was Gandalf brought back, but the conditions of his role in Middle-earth changed and were somewhat promoted as well. After his resurrection, Gandalf of course became Gandalf the White, being promoted in Saruman's rank within the Order of the Astari, and he was allowed to use more of his hidden and veiled power that he carried as a Maya of the race of the Ainur. Yet after being resurrected, even with this greater power, Gandalf was still stranded atop the treacherous mountain by himself. But Gwaihir was sent by Galadriel to find Gandalf and bear him back to Lothlorien, which he would do. Gandalf still had with him Glamdring his sword and Narya his ring of fire. Interestingly enough, while Gandalf died on January 25th of 3019, he would come back to life on February 15th and be brought to Lothlorien on February 17th. It's actually quite a strange state of affairs, and one may view it as luck that Gwaihir found him when he did. I would venture to say that Manwe also sent his servant Gwaihir, just as Galadriel sent him as well, to find Gandalf, and perhaps Manwe guided his servant to where he should look for his other servant. At Lothlorien, Gandalf would receive word of his companions and would be recloaked in white, matching his physical change to his metaphysical enhancement. After spending a bit of time in Lothlorien, Gwaihir would bring Gandalf to the Fangorn Forest, so that he would meet with the three hunters, and Gwaihir was then tasked to watch the Great River behind him. From here, of course, Gandalf would go on to aid the three hunters in Rohan and beyond, calling Shadowfax, who aided him in traveling from Rohan to Rivendell, to his side. Generally, that is most of the lore that exists pertaining to Gandalf's specific resurrection, but it does leave some points of wonder and inquiry. Again, Gandalf's return to life is quite different from the other reincarnations that we see in Tolkien's works, as this appears to be direct intervention on the behalf of Iluvatar that re-embodies Gandalf in the same exact form that he had before, but now enhanced him to be Gandalf the White. He did not need to sail back from the west, nor was he remade in some other land or area in a new body. It truly was a divine resurrection that brought him back. Now, with one resurrection happening, it begs the question, could it happen again? Say Gandalf perished at the Siege of Minas Tirith by the hand of the Witch King or at some other point, could Gandalf the White have been brought back again? I actually think with this theory, it could have been possible. 
It is clear that Iru saw Gandalf as directly, explicitly necessary to achieve the downfall of Sauron and the restoration of the men of the West, who were to inherit Middle-earth. So it is quite possible that if Gandalf perished again, he would have been resurrected once more, as he was essential again in that quest. Yet there are some complications and potential that that would not have been the case, and he could not have been resurrected again. Gandalf ascended in the first resurrection, going higher in the order of the wizards to take Saruman's place, being, as he states when he returns, Saruman as he should have been. And now Gandalf was at the top of the order. Perhaps his resurrection was only allowed or necessary by self-imposed rules of Iru because Saruman switched sides, but another resurrection after that? I'm not sure. Also, how long would it have taken? Would Sauron achieve victory before a second resurrection could have happened? As it did actually take some time for Gandalf the Grey to be sent back as Gandalf the White. Or, again, would it have been too direct of an action for Iru to take again? I am unsure, but there is merit to the idea that a second resurrection, if needed, would have actually been viable, since this resurrection was already so different than the other types of reincarnation that happened in the story. But Gandalf the White maintained his own safety well enough while aiding the Free Peoples through wisdom, encouragement, and leadership. And another such resurrection would never be necessary. And so, my friends, what do you think of all of the different pieces of how Gandalf's resurrection worked? Let me know in the comments below. And so, we come to the end of our tale. From this story, we see that there are always forces at work in the world beyond our own control and understanding things that guide the fate of our actions and the world at large. All we can do is play the roles in the time that we are given. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this Middle Earth Explained video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button and share this with a friend. What are your thoughts on Gandalf's resurrection? Let me know in the comments below. I enjoy how there are so many dimensions to this one part of the story, and implications about Gandalf's greater role in Eru's world. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider getting some candles from our friends Mythology Candles, or order some Weta or United Cutlery Lord of the Rings sword statues and other replicas from Castle Khan, who does international shipping and use the code WEST at checkout, and please check out our merch and Patreon. Also, please consider donating to our Patreon or joining our YouTube memberships for access to our monthly podcast. Thanks to our Valor Tier patrons and YouTube members, Peter Shepard, Merton, John Hume, Elizabeth Calvert, Maz Gibbs, Reese Jenkins, Arthur Merlin, Dale Davis, Theodore, Moon Viper, Andrew Carlisle, Zumi, and Brian Hunley, thank you so much to all of our patrons and YouTube members. Please subscribe and hit that bell button to join the Men of the West and all of the Free Peoples today, and I'll see you all again next week with a video on Did Sauron Detect Bilbo When He Used the One Ring? My friends, thank you all so much for joining me on this adventure. Until the next one.